but the time has come. And you know what? You don't even got to spend your three or 4,000 points. It is story time with Poppy. All right. Oh, I got eye boogies. I got eye boogies. No big deal. No big deal. All right. So I wrote a book last night. Spartan. Three chapters. A horror book. We're going to read the first chapter today. Okay. Now, as I read these stories, you're free to roam around the country, play sounds, do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read. And the goal is not to laugh, not to smile for me. And, and to be serious like this. So the story is about a monster, a horrible, creepy monster called the Meeps. Not Meeps, the Meeps. That's his name. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let me get these words a little bit bigger because I don't want to struggle. Don't judge me. All right. Format. It's about to go down. I wish, I wish, I hope that you guys enjoy this first chapter because I put a lot of thought into it. Okay. A lot. I put even more into the second chapter and then I totally went overboard with the third chapter. Are you guys ready? Could you hear me? Me, 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 me. Lady B, 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 right? I'm just trying to give my, the, the right tone. You know what I'm saying? All right. <clears throat> me, 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 Bree, Bree, Bree. I'm ready. You're all ready? I'm ready. Okay. Bree's like, just fucking read the damn story. God damn it. Just read the fucking story. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to get comfortable. Let's get comfortable. Who sings that song? Jamie Foxx, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me move my keyboard back a little bit. All right, here we go. You ready? Chapter one of the Meeps series. One of three. This first one is called The Meeps and the Traveling Nuns. Yes, nuns from church and stuff. Ready? You're like, yeah, I've been ready for 30 minutes. Here we go. Once... In a secluded and whispering woods of Ravenswood Forest, a creature so foul and feared prowled within the ancient trees. Pick the shit up, put it fucking, you know? It was known it. Is that even a he or she? It says it was known as the Meeps. This monstrous entity had for centuries, oh, this fuck, dwelled in the dense thicket. In the dense thickets. Need other thing than memes. Well, I, we're, we're working our way there. This is a great story. I wrote this shit last night. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have that much time. Because memes are the Rick and Morty thing. No, this is different. This is the, the memes. It's different. All right? Okay. <clears throat> this monstrous entity had for centuries dwelled in a dense thicket. Unseen by the world of humans, feeding off unwary travelers who strayed too close to its lair. Its grotesque form was said to be an amal amalgam of beastly features. Amalgam. A gnarled, a gnarled body covered in patches of matted fur, eyes gleaming and with malevolent yellow light and rows of serrated teeth, perfect for rending flesh from bone. You know what I'm saying? Meep seeks. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the Meeps was dreaded in every tale told by the neighboring villagers, yet was considered to be nothing more than a legend. A specter created to scare children into obedience. Like, quédate ahí, puñeta. Quédate. Quédate, puñeta. Like that. All right. Are you guys still here? Okay. On the eve of this particular blood red full moon, a quaint, a quaint? Get your fucking money! Oh, snap. <laughs> Thank you for, the, for the, the bits, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. On the eve of particular blood red, Red full moon, a quaint and unsuspecting group of hiking nuns set out from the nearby St. Agnes 
convent under annual, 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 you know what I'm saying, retreat to commune with nature, commune with nature and the Lord. Each sister emboldened, and, and emboldened by their faith, they carried like armor and their commitment to divine service, cheerfully walked the winding trails of Ravenwood. I should call that Rugendorf. You know what I'm saying? I think that sounds better, Brie. Rugendorf, blissfully unaware of the horror that lurked in the shadows. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in fiery hues, the nuns decided to set up camp within the confines of the whispering woods. While the sisters sang hymns, 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 and prepared a meager supper, the meeps salivated in the darkness, drawn by the scent of human flesh and the purity of their souls. For such innocence was a delicacy of his twisted palate. It was, that's messed up. Um, yeah, Himes, H-Y-M-N-S. Lady Brie knows how to say it. You said it right the first time. No, no, a Rugendorf. I got this. I got this. All right, here we go. One by one, as night unfurled, it's Stygian shroud over the heavens. The Meeps picked off the nuns. Picked them. It snatched <laughs> them from their sanctuary of tents and fleeting prayers, dragging them screaming into the abyss where it feasted. Feasted. The <coughs> almost drowned. The forest reverberated with the sound of snapping bones and the gruesome slurping of marrow. Mm. The Meeps gorged itself on the holy women, but to its utmost dismay, found it could not complete its unspeakable sacrament. Spartan, don't judge me. Sister Agatha, the eldest and most pugnant of the nuns had a body odor so pugnant and acrid that it acted as a repellent. The stench emanating from her was the divine cul culmination of years of hard labor, a lack of concern, of worldly vanity, and a particularly potent brand of garlic Latin cheese she consumed religiously every evening. When the Meeps tri tried to assail her, the creature recoiled, gagging on the odor that seemed to sear its horrendous nostrils. Sister Agatha, the last nun standing, perceived her chance at salvation, clutching her wooden cross with fervor, F-E-R-V-O-R, fervor. She began, <laughs> she began chanting hymns, hymns, hymns at the top of her lungs, the stench and the holy sound creating a sensory bar bar uh, a, a, where is it at? A, 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 a sensory barrier that Meep could not cross. Through the night, the Meeps thrashed and wailed. The guttural sounds of cacophony, cacophony of frustration and hunger, yet it could not approach the divine stink of Sister Agatha. And by the time dawn first light crept through the trees, <laughs> Got he. Got he. Oh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> the creature, the creature retreated into the bowels of the forest, defeated by a defense no human could have foreseen. Sister Agatha, blessed 
by her involuntary shield, emerged from the woods at daybreak, a survivor of a night of terrors beyond comprehension. Her tale of the beast, the Meeps, and the firstly protective power of her own personal musk spread far and wide. You know, a warning to those who would wander into Rugendorf Forest and a testament that sometimes the best defense against evil is simply to be oneself, no matter how odorous. Can I get a higher? No matter how odorous that self might be. That's the end of chapter one, all right? <laughs> very weird, very strange. All right. I see what y'all wrote me because I was just reading a little bit here and there. I'm sorry I'm done with this already. <laughs> Bobby, I love, but you suck at storytelling. You pause at the wrong moments. <laughs> what are you reading? I'm reading a story that I wrote last night. I wrote it last night. Way better with the voice sounds. Thanks to Bree. Thanks to Bree making my voice deep. Hope you guys are okay. Hope everybody's okay. Everybody's good. Why are you hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not hitting on the nuns. They shouldn't have been there. They shouldn't have been staying there. Because they knew. The, the, the nuns knew that the Meeps, even though it was a legend, they're old enough to know that this is real shit. God put them nuns where they need to be. Yes, he, God put them there. And the Meeps took care of all of them except for one because she stunk. She smells so bad from years of labor. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she must have had doo-doo like stuck on her or something mixed with garlic and like some kind of cheese that was already fermented beyond its capacity of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Thanks for watching, dudes. For our newest video, click here. Thank you.